Okay, so this is an amazing game. So this guy is our enemy and he shoots tornadoes, rainbow tornadoes, and he shoots the other guy with his tornadoes. And he has some pokey knives over here in his hand. And he gets lots of gadgets for shooting him. And he runs away. Mm, and also, he can actually move with arrow keys. And he can go around destructing him. If he touches, he disappears and then he shows up. Mm, so I'm going to teach you how I made this game mm, from the starting to the beginning. So first, I put a one click from the events category right here. And I took an if then loop. And you can find that in the control category. And then I went to sensing and I found a touching mouse pointer. But I don't want it to touch the mouse pointer. I want it to touch sprite 2. So I selected sprite 2. There. And then I made a variable called lives. And for this player, he got the lives. And I can show the lives and hide them. And right now I'm hiding them. So it'll look a little better. And then change lives by minus one. So it's always changing. Right now the lives are, oh wow, that's a lot. Oh, so we'll let it hide, and then we broadcast something. And you can write whatever you want, and then change gadgets by one, so you'll get a gadget for shooting him. Like more gadgets, and that's how much gadgets he got. That's a lot, isn't it? And then he should change costumes so he can actually walk. Three costumes. One, he's just standing, then he's putting his leg up, and the same on the other side. And we put next costume. And then we took an if-else loop and put a key up arrow pressed. Next costume, change y by 10, so he can go up. And then next costume again. And then another inside, and then you put down, and then minus 10, and then mm, we put more loops, and then in the last loop we put an if then. And then we did that. And next is sprite 2. So for sprite 2, mm, we go, oh. and then we put a forever loop, so this will happen forever. And now it's Twos. Okay, so for Sprite 2, we went to events and took a when clicked. So when the green flags clicked, something should happen. And then we took an if then loop and touching Sprite 1, and we put that inside and change gadgets by 1. So if it's, if it's touching Sprite 1, the tornado, then change gadgets by 1. Because the tornado will hurt him so he can get a gadget. And then go to random position so he can run away from the tornadoes. And then go backward 99 layers. So it'll go backward 99 layers and look much better. And put wait 0.1 seconds, switch costume to 1 and then 2 and 3 and there's lots of costumes, and I made these costumes. And then we can put the costumes in, and then when I receive, so it's receiving sudden. And then for the sprite one, you have a when click hide, when I start as a clone, move 20 steps. 
so go to enemy. Mm, so it'll go to the enemy and point towards Sprite Two. So it'll point towards this guy who's shooting. I mean, this guy shooting to him. So it'll shoot to him, and then repeat until touching edge. Move、mm, some steps, and then delete this clone. So it'll get deleted.、Mm. And when clicked forever, if key space is pressed. So suppose you press this key, nothing's happening. But if you click the green flag, you will see what will happen. So to do that, we create clone of Sprite One. Wait, point one second. So it's creating this, and then I already explained this. So it's almost done now. Here, when I receive. So remember, we had this broadcast. So when I receive. Switch costume to four, and there's lots of different costumes, but this is the costume. They said, and then hide and wait one second. So they're gonna hide and then wait one second, and then go to random position. So it'll go to some place, and then he'll show, and then、mm, this should happen forever. So we took a forever loop. And then we put an if then inside, and touching sprite one. So that's sprite one. Touching sprite one. Change gadgets by one. So if this is touching him, it'll change gadgets. And he needs lots of gadgets because he can change costumes, and we can add that to our project. But I don't want to do that. And then go to random position, so we can go to random position all the way here, or here, or here, anywhere. And then、mm, go backward 99 layers. And actually, it's the same as this. And I just copied it and put it right here. So you should already know that I think. So, and then we made it work like this. And also one more thing: if you go all the way to variables, we have lots of variables like direction, gadgets, lives, and my variable. And my variable will always be there until you right-click and delete my variable, and then. Mm, we have three variables, and we use the direction.、Mm, we didn't use the direction, so we can delete that variable or just keep it.、Mm, but it's still good, so it doesn't matter much. And gadgets is the most important variable because we use it a lot.、Mm, see, gadgets is right there, and in lots of other places. But gadgets is showing, directions not showing. And lives is not showing, and that's why it looks better when you add the gadgets. Only is showing, and it looks much better when you do that. And that's how you make this amazing rainbow shooter ninja, and he shoots this person. So that's it for today, guys. Bye bye.